In today's video, we're going to discuss how to beat the NASDAQ with yield max funds on both up and down days in the market. Yield max funds help us earn over 300,000 per year in dividends and live the fire lifestyle, which means financially independent retire early. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. We're also up 27% for the year with yield max funds. Many people say this can't be done because they erode and go sideways to down, quote unquote, but I'm not seeing that erosion in my account. We're up 27.86%. The SP is up 18, the Nasdaq's up 22, the Dow's up eight, and the Russell's up nine. So even though the Russell's starting to catch up in performance to the rest of the indexes, we're still beating all of the indexes on a year to date basis. And if you look above, we're down 9,000 today. But if you look at this percentage, we were down 0.82. So if you look above, the S&P was down 1.39 and the NASDAQ was down 2.77. So we beat both of those indexes, which is what my main goal is here at this channel. And the Dow Jones was in the green today. That just proves that we're seeing this sector rotation away from tech. I've been pounding the table saying we need to buy small caps and other sectors in the S&P that are not tech related like staples, industrials, financials, etc. So those were up today while the NASDAQ was down, making it look like the market was down, but really other sectors were up helping us outperform in the process. So the first reason why we outperformed today was because of Cornerstone. Cornerstone was actually up today. It was up 0.39%. Cornerstone gives you a 20% dividend and it is a five star fund. So I don't want to hear complaints about Cornerstone. There it is five-star fund, and it moves upward left to right on its chart. So Cornerstone, it moves upward left to right on a Morningstar chart, but on an E-Trade chart, it shows that it goes sideways to down. Well, obviously you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings. Cornerstone gives you a 20% dividend, and it has 20% premiums that it averages per year, and it gives you the special drip at NAV, which no other fund in the world that I know of does this okay that's indexed especially okay if you own it up here at around eight it's dripping down here at the bottom in the sixes for free money every month this is also how you compound your income as well and grow your income whereas yield max dividends and defiance dividends they can fluctuate but cornerstone keeps its dividend the same for the entire year and then you grow your dividend each month by compounding that 21 percent drip at nav feature the only thing about cornerstone is you have to time it between its rights offerings which isn't a negative thing this is a positive thing because it tells you when to buy and sell whereas the s p does not tell you when to buy and sell okay so when you buy my e-guides you get free access to the discord chat room for life where we alert you of the cornerstone rights offering announcement so we have over a thousand members here in the discord chat room pursuing the fire lifestyle who can answer any questions you may have about your brokerage account because I use E-Trade, but not every brokerage account is the same. We have a brokerage specifics channel here for who has the lowest maintenance. We have a yield max channel, defiance channel, you name it, okay? I also have a portfolio recap channel where we recap my videos here on YouTube. And again, most importantly, we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement, which is the whole key to leveling up and my account, okay? Then we also outperform because we own Defiance, okay? Defiance, QQQY, as you can see here, it was down 2.45%, but if you look above, the NASDAQ was down 2.77. So just like we planned, QQQY was down less than the market, and QQQY is low maintenance, so this is why I have 200 thousand of my dollars parked into defiance funds i have 400 grand in cornerstone and i have 200 grand in defiance qqy is also 30 percent maintenance so it's really low maintenance i bought some today on the dip because i only buy defiance funds on the dips i don't reinvest defiance dividends or yield max dividends i don't drip them automatically i wait for bigger dips in the market before i reinvest those dividends i only reinvest cornerstone for the special drip at nav feature but i don't reinvest QQY or yield max funds. I just buy those on the dip. So today I bought some QQY at 30% maintenance and it barely budged my available withdrawal. So my available withdrawal is still very high. It's still high enough to withstand over 30% corrections in the market and still withdraw freely out of my account. All of my bills are tied to my E-Trade account and I just live the fire lifestyle uninterrupted regardless of what the market does because even if I'm down 9,000 in one day, it's not like my margin debt grew by 9,000. Nothing happens with your margin debt. My debt will again be paid back in less than one year because my dividends of over 300,000 per year will pay back my debt in less than a year. But when I'm down $9,000, I don't even care 
because my available withdrawal is so high. Now, as long as my 9,000 that I'm down is tied to the indexes, that's all that matters. And the indexes don't normally fall more than 20 or 30% in a given year. So I have high available withdrawal thanks to funds like QQQY that have low maintenance at 30%. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. We also had puts today, okay? My put options were up over 100%. As you can see above here, my put options, QQQQ, uh, QQQ, SPY, SPY. Uh, I sold some other puts for profits, but we're up 110% in this one put alone. So if you can just imagine a 2% down day in the market and we're up 100% in those put options, well, imagine a 30% down day in the market or a 30% down month in the market we would be up over a thousand percent in those puts. And if you do the math with the amount of money that we have in those puts, which is only a couple of hundred dollars total in my put positions, we'd make over a million dollars in the event of a 30% correction in the market. So I'm ready for a correction if we go lower in the market. I really wish we could get a correction because I get to buy more funds on the dip and I get to increase my dividend income at the same time. But I buy puts that helped us offset some of our losses today. We're not inputs for the day's gains on a given down day. We're inputs for total crash protection because all I wanna do is live the fire lifestyle, live with my dividends uninterrupted. And as long as I don't get into a margin call, then I'm agnostic to market conditions because I don't care if we go up or down, my dividends just keep coming in all the same and cornerstone keeps its dividends the same and defiance should actually increase its dividends in a down market because they sell puts which when the market falls put premiums rise and so they should actually again increase their dividends in the event of a market fall yield max will cut its dividends in a market fall but i only have about 150,000 in yield max funds again most of my money is in cornerstone and defiance so my income should actually grow in the event of a market crash so I keep these put options on at all times to help me get more outperformance on a given down day. If you need help insuring your portfolio like I do with put options, that's in my volume five e-guide. And just in case you're wondering how I sell these options to lower my margin and reduce my risk, that's in my volume six e-guide. I closed some options out for a gain today. We made about $600 in the options that we closed out today. We closed out our FAS options, our financial options and we close out our nail options. We just sell time when it comes to these put options. And again, that's in my volume six e-guide if you need help selling puts. They help me lower my margin and lower my risk because they help me lower my cost position. And my puts can even be up some on down days. As you can see here, Bitcoin was down today, but BitX and BitTo were actually up. Now, Soxel was down huge today. Soxel was down almost 19% today, 20% is showing, but we were only down $400 because you don't really see the full losses with leap puts, okay? So if you have 6,000 in a Soxel put like I have, 6,000, what's 10%, 600? 600. What's 20%, 1,200? So we were down only $400 today in this Soxel put. And that's again, thanks to the nature of leap option puts. They move down less than the market on down days because they're so far out to expiration that they actually move less than the underlyings move on a given day. So that's also how we outperform today. It's with these sold put options. And then lastly, we have staples, okay? General Mills, I bought the entire staples sector because staples were on fire today. General Mills was up three, you name it, okay? General Mills, Hormel, if you like chili, okay? That was up two and a half percent. Johnson & Johnson, okay? Blue chip names that have huge dividends. Look at these charts. They're all still really cheap on their charts. Huge dividends. Johnson & Johnson, three and a half percent. We own all the staples names once again because they give us good dividends and they give us some upward left to right movement on our charts which helps offset the decay that you see from yield max and yield max is largely tech related so when tech has a big down day these sectors actually help the portfolio gain performance back and shelter us from unwanted volatility from yield max funds so again you should just check out all the consumer staples names they're all up huge today okay i can't even name them because i have about 50 grand in the staples names i have about 100 grand in stocks themselves in my margin debt but i have about 50 grand in staples names and again they're all up huge today helping us offset the losses from our yield max funds which again are largely tech related and we're seeing a rotation away from tech towards cheaper sectors of the market and small caps okay iwmy is also how we outperform today iwmy was the russell 2000 right and the russell 2000 has been on a tear lately and so this tracks the iwm and it was down only 0.28 percent today iwm was green today 
but it pulled back some. It's had a big run recently, and the IWM ended up being down 1%, but IWMY, once again, was down less than IWM. Also, you can look here on a chart with Defiance. You can see on Morningstar that IWMY is beating its index. So even though IWMY and Cornerstone and Yield Max sort of go sideways to down on their charts, you have to go to Morningstar for the full picture, and this proves that Yield Max, Defiance, and Cornerstone funds are working as planned, okay? Even though they go sideways to down on E-Trade charts, they go upward left to right on Morningstar charts. So that's how I outperform the market today, even with this margin debt. We can still swipe our E-Trade card and go wherever we want in this world because this debt doesn't show up on credit checks to banks, yet the dividends do. So this is how we qualify for more loans and get to do whatever we want in this world. We can use loans to buy whatever we want, and I can use my E-Trade card, once again, to swipe out of my account and buy whatever I want. Cars, clothes, shoes, whatever, once again, you can buy with your margin debt. The interest on this is so low, it's around 6% for me. I've negotiated it down twice. Many of my clients who bought my E-Guys did the same thing because when you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for life, where again, we alert you of the Cornerstone Rights Offering Announcement, but you also get my phone number so I can help you negotiate your rates down or walk you through maintenance in your account. Whatever you need help with, I'm here for you. Just call me. Ask any client of mine. I'm always here for you. Just give me a call. So if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. We're outperforming all the indexes with Yield Max, Cornerstone, Defiance, and some margin. You just have to use margin properly and watch your maintenance and tie things to the indexes. Okay, and if you like the video, click like or subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks.